ng gabi po at welcome sa ating pong midweek worship dito po sa Squamish Christian Fellowship kasama po ang First United Methodist Church of Canada dyan po sa Metro Vancouver. Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta po ang inyong nagdaang linggo? Dalain ko po na kayo ay ligtas at patuloy po na pinagpapala ng ating Panginoon. Tayo ay manalangin. Aming Diyos, aming tagapagligtas, salamat po sa uh, gabing ito, salamat po sa buong maghapon ng pag-iingat, ng biyaya, ng uh, kalusugan, Panginoon. Salamat sa buhay po ng bawat isa, sa aming pagbubulay-bulay muli ng iyong mga salita, na wapo ay maging pagpapala ito sa amin, at ikaw ang aming maging takbuhan, sandigan sa lahat po ng panahon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus to pong aming panalangin. Amen. At amen. Nung ako po ay bago dito sa Canada, I think it was uh, second week of June, ano ho, nung ako po ay nag-start na magtrabaho uh, sa isang grocery store, ano po, sa independent dito sa Squamish. At uh, ako ho ay uh, merchandiser, ano po. And uh, there was a time na may nalaglag na na uh, uh, pickle san ho, sa al four <laughs> al four <laughs> in alam ko bisa ko pa ho yon may nilaglag na pickles and uh, nung nung nilaglag ho yon andun ako sa kabilang aisle and someone shouted Jesus Christ ano ho uy sabi ko uh, bago sa kultura ano ho bago dito so and we 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 grew up in the country na na ang Panginoong Hesus ay part po ng ating buhay ano po uh, so pag sinabi ng Jesus Christ we know that it is our lord it is our god and someone shouted on the other, other side Jesus Christ ano po and uh, oh cool ano hindi pa ako nakikipag-usap noon kasi uh, mahirap mag-ingles <laughs> ano po and Eventually, every day, Jesus Christ is is being uh, becoming normal in into my ears. Ano ho, yung mga tao ay nagsasabi, Jesus Christ. Pero hindi po natapos din, ano? Meron pang Jesus F. Christ. <laughs> Naging mura na. And, and, and uh, as I understand the culture, ano po, ito ay nagiging... Uh, Uh, expression na lamang kung gusto nilang magmura. They are saying Jesus Christ not because they believed in Jesus, but but they are mocking Jesus and Jesus F. Christ is their expression when, when something bad or some some things happens. Ano? And it makes our heart angry. <laughs> Bakit yung Jesus natin, yung yung Diyos natin ay ekspresyon, masamang ekspresyon para sa ibang tao. And, and as we look at the movies nowadays, ano, napakalaki ng shifting, halos lahat ng movies ngayon ay Jesus F. Christ. Yun yung kanilang ekspresyon. Ano, when they persuaded, not because they believe in Jesus, but because they're making fun of Jesus. They making fun of our God. Pero tayong mananampalataya, tayo pong naniniwala sa Panginoong Jesus, we believe that the name of Jesus is holy. And in, in, in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Na We, we, when we hear Jesus, when we say Jesus, ito po ay nagiging mabango sabiyo sa atin. Because we believe that Jesus is our Lord and our Savior. In Romans chapter 10, verses 11 to 13, it says, The scripture says, No one who believes in Him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction be- between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call Him for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When we confess that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. So when we hear Jesus, when we shout Jesus, when we proclaim Jesus, it is salvation for us. It is a faith for us. 
na kapag, kapag mabigat yung problema, na kapag may problema tayo, the name of the Lord is our strong tower. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Na kahit na magulo yung paligid, na kahit na magulo yung mundo, na kahit na hindi sure, hindi tayo sure sa, sa nangyayari, ano po, sa mundo natin, may COVID, may, may recession, ano po, pagkaluge, pagtaas ng bilihin, lahat, ano po, uh, hot housing market, ano po, uh, yung rentals din sa Squamish, people are moving, ano po, at, at uh, we have folks na, na naghahanap ng bahay niyo because the one that they're renting is being sold. Ano po? But when we come to God, when we come to Jesus, when we come in the name of the Lord, we have that strong tower. And, and what does tower means in, in the Old Testament? It is the defense. Ano po? They always make tower at ito yung magiging defense for the, so that the enemies cannot come in and attack you and hurt you. And the name of God, Jesus, our Lord, is our strong tower. Merong kanta nung, ano, nung, halimutan ko na, ano, and the name of the Lord is, ano, di ba, ano, sa mga Sunday schools natin, a strong tower. And the righteous come, run into it, and they are safe. So when we come to Jesus, when we come in His name, when we believe in His name, when we pray and ask in His name, we are safe. In, in, in John chapter 15, Jesus was talking about the, the vine and the branches. And in John 15, verse 16, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name, in Jesus' name. The Father will give us whatever we want in Jesus' name. If we stay remaining God, and that supports that supports Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 the righteous run into it and they are safe the believers the, the believers who remain in God the believers who call upon the name of the Lord will be safe and that when we ask something in our father in the Lord through Jesus name will be given to us. And anong sabi niya? Anything. So for the people who, who's making fun of our Lord, of the name of our God, it hurts us, right? But our faith should go above those things. Sapagkat yung Diyos na ating nilalapitan, yung Diyos na ating sinasamba, yung Jesus na atin pong sinasamba ay ang ating strong tower, our foundation na magpoprotekta sa atin sa anumang bagay. We are not exempted sa, sa gulo ng mundo. We are not exempted sa sakit. We are not exempted sa failures and disappointments sa, ano po, sa mga nangyayari sa paligid po. Hindi tayo exempted. But we have that strong tower na nakapag down na down ka na nakapag sa tingin mo you, you will face something hindi kagaya ng Wednesday na, na midweek natin hindi dapat hindi dapat pag wala na tayong magawa at wala nang solusyon saka lang tayo lalapit sa kanya but let us run to him let us come to him bakit siya yung strong tower natin and when we call upon the name of the Lord, we will be saved. And when we call through His name, we ask anything. That's John chapter 15 verse 16. And it will be given to you through Jesus' name. Mga kapatid, ano po yung kalagayan nyo? Ano po yung ating pinagdaraanan ngayon? Meron po tayong mga mahihirap na na Akaharapin sa buhay, meron tayong problema, maaring sa pamilya, sa kamag-anak, sa, sa trabaho, ano po, sa ating kalusugan. But always remember na meron tayong Diyos na po pwedeng lapitan 
sa lahat ng panahon at lahat ng pagkakataon sapagkat ang kanyang pangalan ay isang isang tower na matibay na puprotekta po sa atin at mag-iingat sa atin. Na sa ating paglapit sa Kanya, sa ating pananalangin sa Kanya, sa ating pagpupuri sa Kanya, Siya ho ay nakikinig upang ipagkaloob sa atin yung ating pong pangailangan. Nakikita ng Diyos yung ating damdamin. Nakikita ng Diyos yung ating sitwasyon. And one thing is for sure, if it is good for us, the Father will give it to us, to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mga kapatid, sa atin pong pag-journey ng mga susunod na araw, and as we come into the weekend, we don't know what will happen, we don't know the things that will happen ano ho, for our future, sa pamilya natin, sa kinabukasan natin. But one thing is for sure, meron tayong Diyos na po pwedeng takbuhan, lapitan, pasalamatan, sambahin. And when we say Jesus Christ, it is not because we are making fun of Him, but because we have faith in Him. And we are honoring Him that He is our Lord, that He is our Savior, that He is our God. And when we come to Him, when we run to Him, He is a strong tower and we are safe. Mga kapatid, dalangin ko po na sa inyong pag-journey ng buong linggo, ang pag-iingat po ng Panginoong Jesus, ng ating Diyos, ang patuloy na suma ating lahat. Maabot nawa natin ang ating pangarap, makamit nawa natin ang ating mga pinapanalangin. At ang kalooban nawa ng Diyos ang mangyari sa ating mga buhay. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Amen and Amen.